Imagine this. You're fast asleep when all of a sudden you wake up, open your eyes, and there's a demon standing at the foot of your bed. You try to open your mouth to scream, but no sound comes out. You try to lift your head, but it's pinned down to your pillow. You try to get up to turn on the lights, but you realize that you are completely immobilized. Even breathing becomes harder. You've woken up in a dream, and it's a nightmare. Around six or seven months ago, I experienced those exact symptoms undergoing the scary condition known as sleep paralysis. It happened over a regular weekend, so I was waking up without an alarm. I opened my eyes and looked around, but I couldn't sit up. So, naturally, I started to freak out because no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't move. There was nothing I could do about it, though, so I just laid there, completely aware of my surroundings, yet paralyzed. Finally, five minutes later, I was able to spring up and catch my breath. I had never been more confused, yet I remembered the experience perfectly, the things I saw and the things I felt. This experience is the reason why I've become so interested in this phenomenon. Around 20% of people experience sleep paralysis at least once in their life, ranging from a few seconds to a few minutes. So why does this strange and terrifying thing even happen? The phase of sleep in which you dream is called REM, rapid eye movement sleep. Your eyes literally vibrate back and forth during this phase. Once the rapid eye movements stop and your dream therefore ends, you are programmed to forget what you subconsciously dreamt about that night. Therefore, you only remember your dreams when you wake up during a REM phase or around a REM phase. All other dreams are forgotten. The paralysis I'm referring to is due to a chemical released by your brain which relaxes your muscles so you don't act out your dreams. However, Sometimes we may wake up while this chemical is still active in our body. When this happens, your brain is able to sense your surroundings and hallucinate while your body remains relaxed to the point of paralysis, thus causing this mental condition. So, these rapid eye movements are actually taking you to a different state of human consciousness known as the subconscious. As soon as the REM phase ends every night, you are able to come right back to a full awareness and wake up. In a recent animal study, neuroscientists have been altering a frequency of brain activity known as the oscillating frequency that is able to change the state of consciousness. Switch it to a low frequency, the animal is unconscious. Switch it to a high frequency, the animal is conscious. The results from this study gave neuroscientists the ability to apply the same to humans, putting brain stimula simulators to the deep, into the deep part of the human brain using specialized wires. Scientists discovered that when doctors switched on the oscillating frequency in comatose patients who are unconscious, they have found that majority actually wake up. Although this isn't a dominant medical method for getting people out of comas, it shows great promise for the future of medicine. So, these, so, scientists are now, for the first time in human history, scientists are able to manipulate human consciousness in a way like never before. With many new fascinating scientific discoveries on the horizon, more and more explanations to medical mysteries are surfacing helping us better explain why these strange and terrifying things like sleep paralysis happen to us. So if you wake up one day paralyzed with horrific visions, stay calm and understand that your nightmares are only as real as you make them. Thank you.